everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a video all about the atelier cologne range of perfumes this has been requested for a while from quite a few people so i finally got around to doing it i have been to their flagship um, in London shop in Covent Garden and sort of gone through their whole range and they have almost 40 different perfumes so I'm not going to go through all 40 in this video because I feel like you'll just get bored but I'm going to pick out my favourites and some of their hero ones and talk to you a bit about um, well how nice they are actually so if you're new here welcome to my channel it's all about perfumes check out my hundreds of other perfume videos and subscribe if you're not already i'd love to have you here in my little perfume community world so atelier colognes is a french brand they are all unisex perfumes and sort of all about the idea of colognes or something usually associated with men so what is a cologne cologne basically means that it is slightly less concentrated than an eau de parfum so that's all it means basically kind of like um i think between an eau de toilette and an eau de parfum so it doesn't really mean that much but it's the kind of thing that you can spray quite a few times um so they tend to be lighter fragrances and for some reason they've become associated with men's fragrances but that doesn't have to be the case at all so the brand sets out all these different colored perfume bottles really fun really beautiful um to visit the shop they're sold in most airports i think and in some department stores as well and I'll leave links down below to where you can get them as always guys so I picked out um, my four favorites and um, they do these sort of three gift boxes so it came in a um, cute gift box that they make up for you and it had a pink ribbon round as well um, but the one I'm going to start off with is this one which is Clementine California and this is my favorite I think so I they're all sort of inspired by a place a location and um, of course this is inspired by California. So this is Clementine's Orange. It also has juniper berries in. And I I just found this very holiday, very tropical. It almost smells like mango, but it's, it's that Clementine and the orange. And I just think this is the kind of thing that I would want to be spraying on holiday when it's really summery, very uplifting. You could sort of spray this on your hair, on your clothing, and it would just feel like you were in California. It has some cypress and basil notes in here, and I think they give you that smell that you know when you step off an aeroplane into a more tropical climate you immediately get hit with this green smell because the vegetation is so different to the smell of like England where I live and um, you get this tropical vegeta vegetation smell and it's that kind of cypressy smell that this reminds me of but it is predominantly an orangey clementine that you get but it really does smell like being in the tropics I think. Another one that I really loved was Pacific Lime so this one has coconut in and you guys know I find coconut really lovely in perfumes because it helps it last so this one hmm lemons limes coconut it kind of smells a bit like a cocktail that you drink like a tropical cocktail there's also mint in here of course mints in cocktails as well so it smells a bit like a mojito say you were drinking a mojito out of a coconut this one also is in this hot pink packaging and you can get them in these leather cases which you can get engraved as well and the, the case was this hot pink colour so I, this was probably my favourite colour one. But yeah, really fresh, uplifting, tropical, you know, I find this brand really is making me feel like I'm, I'm living in a, a tropical country. So I'm going to continue with the citrusy ones, so Bergamot Soleil, so bergamot sun very bright fresh uplifting one hence the yellow and this came in a really nice yellow um, leather case that you can get as well this one has a bitter orange in it as well as the bergamot so it's almost like a tart lemon it also has vetiver in as well so it's got an element of that greenness it smells like being in a a grassy field where they're growing bergamot so you're getting a lot of the greenness vetiverness but then you're getting that bergamot this reminds me a bit of being in in on the italian coast 
this is very much an Italian smell to me, reminds me of when I've been in Italy. So yeah, very nice. This definitely very unisex, you know, if you like things um, for men like Eau Sauvage, very bergamotty, lemony one, um, the Ecuador Palma lemon ones, then I think you'd like this. So let's take a break from the citruses for a second. I really liked this Vanille Intense. So this is a very true vanilla in my eyes. It's a very, very warm, warm vanilla. This would be lovely around Christmas time, like by a log fire. It isn't a sickly sweet vanilla like some vanillas are. It's a warm, woody vanilla. So a bit more sophisticated. I found that this one lasted the longest on my skin out of all of them, probably because of those heavier notes, the vanilla and, and the wood. There's a bit of amber in here as well, but I really like this, definitely unisex again. But if you like that almost Play-Doh-y vanilla with a wood warmth underneath, if you like those warm scents, then this is nice, very unusual, very classy, um, very warming. Next we have Cedra Atlas. Yeah, this I'd say is, even though they're all unisex, more towards the male side, so it's very woody, it reminds me of a lot of male fragrances. Oak moss, wood, bit of um, zestiness, bit of citrus initially, but fundamentally you're getting a, a cedar wood. So this one, I think if you're looking for a nice woody male perfume, if you like your, I don't know, um, Allure by Chanel or you know your Armani codes then this is a nice woody one for men. Now let's return to the citruses so this is orange sanguine mm. this is a bitter blood orange with some geranium in as well so slightly floral but you really get a, a, a first a bitter orange and now it's turning into a blood orange again very refreshing but a little bit more serious than the more lemony, grapefruity ones with that blood orange and the bitterness are quite serious. So you could definitely wear this, you know, to work or something. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily a holiday vibe. It's more of a daytime orange vibe. Mm, really, really nice. And then lastly, we have Pomelo Paradise. And this one smells like pink grapefruit, very grapefruity, hence the name Pomelo Paradise. It has some orange and orange blossom in, but yeah, definitely pink grapefruit, this one, hence the sort of pinky grapefruit type color of the packaging. So basically, if you like citruses, you definitely like this brand. You've got orange, you've got bergamots, you've got lemons, you've got grapefruit, you've got orange blossom, you've got the whole works. They also have some heavier ones, like some rosy ones, some, um, there was a really nice vanilla tobacco one. So there are different ones, but um, I think they started with the citrus ones and those are my personal favorites. I love fruity perfumes. So if you're a citrus fan, you know, Aqua de Palma fan, I think you'd really like these. I love the leather cases, like I said, and the colors, and you know, you get quite large sizes. So this is the smallest size at 30 mil actually. But you can get loads of body products that complement with it. And I just think that if you're looking for the kind of thing that you can just spray lots and very uplifting, ready for spring, summer, then this is a nice brand. And I think from gifting point of view, you know, the packaging and everything is really nice. And, you know, you could probably find something for anyone because they have so many perfumes. So, yeah, I was really, um, really enjoyed getting to know the brand a bit better and, and trying all these different ones out. So let me know which ones you like, if you wear any of these or if you plan to get any um i'll leave links below like i said to where you can find these um but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching do subscribe if you're not already i'd love to have you here uh, officially um but that's it so i'll see you in the next video bye